Hello Ross developers and welcome to a new video about how to develop with Ross. If you want to learn anything about Ross, this is your channel. Ross navigation, Ross with drones, Ross for autonomous cars, everything Ross is here. Learn Ross step by step and push your Ross learning with just a 10 minutes video. I am Ricardo and today we are going to learn about Usarion's Rossbot simulation. In this video, we will learn how to install the Rossbot Gazebo simulation in just five minutes and how to launch the mapping and navigation demos that it includes. But before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online Ross courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find the link to the academy on the video description and you can try any of those courses. Okay, so let's start with installing this simulation. So let's go and for that we are going to use the RDS as always. Here the ROS Development Studio that you can access at HTTP RDS, the .com. Remember that you can create a free account there and start doing the same steps as I am doing here. So for that, you go to your projects area and then create a new project. Let's call it uh, my Usarion, for example. And I'm going to copy here just the description, the, the H in the description, the web page of this and also the web page of the Git where we are going to get this simulation. So I'm going to show you how, okay, just in a minute. So let's create the project. Okay, success, it's here, my project. And then, so I press on it, for example, and then I open the project. So let's go. And then once the system has booted, then I'm going to start from scratch. So what we are going to do is to go here to the Git that Usarion is providing with the simulation of ROS, of the ROSBot. So it's the ROSBot description. Then it's very simple. Just come here and then press clone and let's copy the address. Great. Now let's go back to the ROS development studio. Let's open a new shell. And for that, we, we, you remember that in the ROS development studio, we have several CADKIN workspaces. If you do an LS, you will see all of them. Now we are working with the simulation. So we have to go to the simulation workspace source. And there, let's do a clone of and paste the, the Git address that we just copy from Husarion. Great, we got it. We got it. And the good thing about this simulation, it doesn't require to compile anything. So we can just go straight and launch it. How do we do? Very easy. We come here, simulations and select launch file. And here, let's see. All those are packages provided by that simulation. And then the one that we have to launch in this case is the ROSBOT will launch. So select that one and launch it. Great, so the simulation is starting here and we are going to have it in a few seconds, the whole simulation. In the meantime that this is booting, we can go to the IDE and open the IDE also. And let me put it here. So you can see here the different workspaces and we can also open here on the source, the, the repo that we just cloned and the different files. We have some scripts for launching the different demos. Uh, we are not going to use this. We just launch files in normal uh, ROS style. So I'm going to show you how to do it in a, just a, a few seconds. And here we have the simulation. Okay, so far so good. That's easy. It's so easy to launch it. So we got it there running you got there the robot just a small pieces there so that can act as an environment and the robot can detect and do things etc okay great so now what are we going to do is we are going to launch the um the mapping system okay so let's create a map of this environment with this simulation so already provided some um launch files for launching here 
ROS bot navigation. Very simple. If we open the gmapping demo, you can see, let me put it bigger and with a bigger uh, font so you can read better. And this is just uh, starting the gmapping, slam gmapping, and well, how this gmapping node has to work. So those are the, the things that you need. Then uh, let me just check because if I remember properly, there was uh, here in Ross description here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we have here a launch file in Ross, Ross bot description. We have here the Ross bot RBS G mapping launch. Okay. So actually that is more interesting. If we launch this one, so we need to launch first this Ross bot RBS G mapping launch in order to get all those processes, all those nodes uh, activated. And then finally, we are going to launch this G mapping demo that is actually contains the mapping node. So let's go for that. And then for this, let's go here, for example, in this shell that we have, and then do the ROS launch first of the ROS bot description. This description and then it's the rosbot rbs gmapping dot launch so that's the first one and i'm going to open a new shell here so i can launch the other one that is the mapping uh, remember that this first one is launching also the Arbis so we can already see on Arbis what is the status of the mapping okay so here it goes I'm going to launch that one ROS launch is the second one was uh, here in the the package of ROS bot navigation ROS bot navigation and it's called the gmapping dot launch and here we have a problem. Let me see. Uh, G mapping demo. Sorry, it's G mapping demo. Yes, there it is. There it goes. And if we open here, uh, in order to see the RB is running, we have to go and open the tools here in the graphical tools. So if we open the graphical tools, we should see here the RB is running and there it is okay so is there let me just move it a little bit and do a double click here in the in the title so we got the maximum size and as we can see the robot is already creating the map that is uh, around um for that also we need to move the robot and here we have as you can see here there is a teleop um, launch that allow us to move the robot with the key so let's open another shell in the typical ROS style of having many many shells as you already know that ROS needs a lot of shells and let's launch this ROSBot teleop inside the ROSBot navigation package and then let's move it around a little bit here in the simulation and around here so we can create more or less a map it's just an example okay so you can do better later so uh, do the ROS launch of the ROS bot navigation navigation and is the ROS bot tele up launch great so there it is there it goes and here we have all the information on the screen that's nice and we can start moving when this node starts by using the keys remember that if you are doing this experiment also remember that when you press the keys here are the keys that you have to press in order to move in holonomic or non-holonomic mode in Remember that you have to have the focus on the window that contains the, the program for moving the robot. Otherwise, if you press the keys, it, the robot will move. Okay, so I'm going to press the keys and make the robot move uh, from one side to another. You see that it's rotating, moving backwards, moving one side to the other. And okay, so, so far so good, moving forward. Okay, on one side turning and moving, etc., etc. And then the map should be updating. 
as we see here that is being updated so the configuration at present of this map is that it's only mapping with the rays that um, collide against an obstacle this is just a configuration parameter here in the G mapping uh, program when you launch it here you can specify and I'm not going to get into details about that you can go to our ROS navigation in five days course in our academy and you will get completely describe all the parameters that you can use for that okay so more or less we have done the map so I'm going to close it this sorry it's just to go fast eh? and then let's save the map for that ROS map uh, ROS run sorry ROS run map server wait before we save the map let's go to a directory where the code of navigation is expecting to have the map so let me show you because i remember that this is the launch that we are going to launch later for doing the localization and autonomous navigation is the it's a launch file that is called amcl demo so let's open it and let me show you here the the launch file is going to look for a map that it's called test map yam and it's stored into a directory called maps inside the robot navigation then rosbot navigation doesn't contain the these directory maps so we need to create so let's right click and do a new folder and call it maps and now i'm going to save the current map that I have created as test map. Uh, you don't have to do it this way. There are many other ways, like changing that file, for example, with the proper name and, and locations. But that's I think that's the faster way. So let's go to simulations workspace source. Then inside we have the Rossbot description and then Rossbot navigation. Um, sorry, don't remember. Source again, yeah. Then Rossbot navigation the maps okay here then here i'm going to call the map server to save the current the current map so map server map saber minus f and then the name of the map test map i'm doing this so i do the minimum amount of modifications in the in the files provided by who's are you on so done the map is done so now we don't need to have any more those um, those files do launch it so i can close it and this other one also close it great so now let's do a small navigation autonomous navigation demo with this and we are about to finish so for that we'll have to launch the amcl demo launch that i already explained to you here this one, but also we'll have to launch this Rosbot Arbis AMCL launch. Okay, that is the one that is loading this specifically for uh, using the uh, the localization and path planning algorithms, etc. It's about the same file, but well, anyway. So let's do it this way. Uh, the only thing is that we have to go to the AMCL demo launch file, and here you see that uh, in this code you can see that um, there is a code here that says place map frame at odometry frame so this is not correct according to my knowledge i don't know what they are trying to do in hoseram okay but in normal cases you don't have to provide that transform because it is the amcl package that is going to provide that transform so if you keep this then your localization system is going to do very strange things so let's just comment this part just do this with me this is a small modification here so you can uh, then you don't have to publish this static transform and you will not get a, a very uh, simple error but that is a strange error so doing this save the file and let's launch it then then for this in this shell in this shell here we were launching the RBS G mapping launch instead of this let's say AMCL launch great so this is also launching the RBS that should appear here at some point yes there it is great and here 
uh, let's launch here in the ROS navigation, ROSBot navigation, instead of the GMapping demo, let's launch the AMCL demo. AMCL demo, yes, let's go. And while it is running, let's see uh, what is happening here that we cannot see. Ah, again, so let me move it here or do a double click. Okay, there it is. So now we have here the system of localization that is running and let me make it bigger here so you can see that the map that we have created is the one that is being used and also um, what is not included here are the particles so let's add the particles because it's interesting to see the particles to see how the the particles i mean the particles of the localization system and it's interesting to see what is the current location expected by the by the robot so uh, let's add the post array and then configure open here and configure in the topic by the particle cloud whoop sorry i pressed the wrong button yes well you see the there the particles then let's localize the robot as it is inside the simulation so let me get an idea of where it is because this map is not very rich features rich in feature so and also the one that we have created here is not very good so let me just put it bigger we are about to finish so just bear with me stay with me for a few seconds more okay so um more or less too many particles i cannot see so let me just hide them yes so if i understand here is the round thing that is here the round thing and then the robot is kind of looking into it's around here and looking towards this wall so let's before we add the post estimate we have to change the fixed frame to map and once this is done okay this has changed the perspective again but we got it back so let's press post estimate and say more or less where the robot is it should be something like this if i'm right yeah more or less okay okay and now we can of course provide a path for a goal just press here navigation goal and then indicate hey go there for example looking for there and then the robot should start moving and there it is it's starting to create a trajectory that moves towards that place is doing something a little bit strange okay so yeah but it's turning and going to the place and it's completely localized now great so it's going it's going to the point yeah okay so basically that's it what i wanted to show you about how to use very quickly the Husarion um, system uh, gazebo simulation that they are providing for their robot here. That is great. So uh, in the video description, in the description of the video, you will find a complete course about ROS navigation that you can learn all the details that you can see there, as well as all the resources that we have mentioned here in this video, like the GitHub or the Usarion uh, website. And did you like the video? If you did, then please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Um, either you like it or not, press, please, share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. So, hasta la vista!